up, guys. So, it's Sunday. It's cold, but I still managed to go out and do a little testing. And, guys, this testing that I did especially is helpful to see the results for some of you guys with small systems. Just getting into the car radio thing in general because uh, it has a lot to do with impedance rise. And, you know, I've explained it before, but uh, here recently I've been recommending a lot of people get these smart amps from tar amps. And the reason being is they do such a good job fighting rise that you can buy a smart three and on music, you're going to be louder than if you bought another company's 5K just because of the way that they fight rise and you know it's like all the testing i've done here recently i've been at least two times rise like today's testing i'm two times rise which means whatever the amp would normally put out where it's supposed to like today two ohm the amp's rated for 3k at two i'm at four ohm every song i played i was over four ohm and that's why I love this AMM one. It is so great for doing this kind of testing. But this guy should this should be helpful for a lot of you guys that don't understand rise to see what the amp is actually doing at what it, wherever the music's playing. You know, at the highest power level that the amp is put out playing that music. That's the testing I did today. And then I had my wife crawl in the back with uh her phone and film me playing part of a song, which will be in this video. So you can just see how the rise and the power output is all over the place. And this is something to consider if you're building a system, because it's definitely got me looking at the smart H that are coming out just because it will be so much louder than the amps I have now, which are clamping great power. But just because they do that same power from like, Two to four ohm, they're putting out rated power. And you'll see my results here of what happens with just an amp that's rated to do 3K at two ohm. Enjoy. All right, guys. Ignore my wiring down here, but we got this little DS18 3K. It is a GFX 3K two ohm. One G2 Genesis 15. And right here we are. It's showing that we're at 2.3 ohms right now. Got it hooked up. Got a headway lithium bank in here for the power. So uh, this isn't the SPL build. Uh, it, it, I originally bought it for my daughter to uh, just, you know, to play music on. And it's tuned uh, kind of high, but we're going to see what kind of power we can get out of this. All right, so let's do it. And okay, guys, so we got 19. Well, that's double rise and we got 1915 out of this amp i mean i think it that big old wire out of the way you can see it's a 3k 2 ohm 1900 at double rise i mean it's not bad i mean you know it's same as like the sfb and all that chinese made uh full bridge but wow i'm kind of impressed i know i had a clip light on the amp hitting get my voltage hitting up real high but uh, yeah, that's more than I thought it was gonna do. And honestly, it wasn't even a, a really good song to test it. I might try another one, but I, I can't really play it because you know, YouTube be flagging everything. So but let's see what we can do. Well, guys, I did another song and we're at 1933. Man, I don't really have no sweeps or anything to play in here. But yeah, I mean, that's 1200 RMS sub. It's barely doing anything. And that's what I have in my Jeep. So, 1933. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more playing around. See if I can get something a little better out of it. I'm going to try one more song. Alrighty, guys. Damn. 4.3 ohms. So, oh, double rise still. 1960. I just think I can do better. I just got to find the right song, guys. But, uh, just stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get this number up a little bit and I'm gonna try to get my wife to climb in back here and put this thing on real time so you can see how this thing works on real time power.
Okay, guys, and that's kind of a rundown of this thing. It does a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to edit in the video my wife just took while she was back here bumping some old my hoopty. But uh, that was on real-time power. And you got dyno power, and that's like a peak hold. The highest uh, wattage that this thing clamps, that's what that does. And you got DC volts. So you can actually use this thing as a multimeter with them two probes. Which Chaz changed them, but normally has the needle type on it, like a regular multimeter. But, uh, yeah, you got your DC voltage, so it'll be like a multimeter. And, uh, DC minimum and max, so you can hook that to your amplifier, to them two parts, and it'll read, I guess, what the minimum and max, uh, DC current going to it is. And you got AC volts and current, so it's just like a uh, AC voltage for multimeter to get your like RMS and everything. I'm not sure on that one. I'm not sure on this one, the power factor. Man, I'm still new to a lot of this stuff, guys, so I'm learning like you guys are. AC frequency and impedance. So uh, I'd have to do more research on what that actually means, but I'm sure that's handy. This is a great little tool. And we're back to real-time power, which we went over. So I'm going to turn this thing off. I got to go home because... I try to tell you guys all the time, I don't film, and there's my wife. She was out here shooting videos in the blazer. I don't film at my house, you know. You can see I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's an old power station here. This is up the road from my house a few miles. And uh, you can tell there ain't nothing around here. But, yeah, that's where I be filming at, guys. So I try not to bother people when I'm doing this stuff. Even, you know, this old Jeep here, she ain't that loud. Uh now with that 115 and clamping 2,000 almost watts, so I come out here now for this thing here. Boop, boop, boop. It's still got them prides in there, guys. They for sale. They still working because she is up here doing videos. Man, somebody bring me like two grand and take all. Hell, bring me uh 1,700. Take all of them home. You see them coils in there still looking good, but all right, guys, that's my video for today. Say bye, Deb. Peace Hi, out. Say, you got to say peace out and base on. Peace out and base on.